Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning. I, uh, I appreciate you coming for the uh, conclusion of our uh, 40th anniversary uh, celebration. Many of you joined us. It's hard to believe it was 40 days ago uh, when we, uh, we announced the, uh, the kickoff of this at, um, on the Greenways and we were able to uh, get this launched. And so um, it's wonderful to see so many folks turning out today. Sounds like the kids are having some fun downstairs. <laughs> uh, so, uh, so we'll have some fun in here too and we'll see if we can drown them out a little bit. I um, want to welcome a few folks here. Uh, Jennifer Faulkner from Congressman Goodlatte's office. Uh, hey, good morning. Thanks for joining us. And uh, Courtney Campbell from Delegate Rasul's office. Does Courtney make it? Okay, all right. So I uh, wanted to uh, uh, welcome the, them here and, and certainly welcome you all here. Uh, you're here for a couple of reasons, hopefully to help us uh, celebrate the close out of this. And, uh, and, and I, I don't know everyone in the room, but I feel like I do because I saw a lot of your pictures uh, on Twitter over the last uh, last couple of weeks as you participated in our scavenger hunt, and so uh, we're excited to announce that. Um, before we do that, though, I do want to say a few words about some of the uh, uh, some of the things that have been going on over the last 40 days. Uh, you heard me mention um, if you were at our kickoff that uh, we're celebrating our 40th anniversary actually on. Uh, November 18th, 1976, we signed up our very first customer uh, with Cox Cable Services here, and uh, this, uh, this week we'll hit the Big 40. And so uh, we're not over the hill, so if you're wondering there, we're, we're, just, uh, we're just getting rolling and we got a lot to look forward to, but we're really excited about that. Uh, you know, and if uh, you've heard me speak before, you've heard me say uh, that I am fairly new here. I'm not sure if I can still play the new guy card because I've been here for a little bit over a year and a half. Uh, but when I see family and friends or when I'm back uh, in Virginia Beach visiting with folks, uh, they ask me, how's Roanoke? What's Roanoke like? Uh, you know, is it, is, it a, is it a nice place to live? And the easy answer is to talk about the stuff that you can see out the windows here, right? I mean, the beautiful landscape, the mountains, the um, outdoor amenities, places like Center in the Square and these other locations. But the reality is, is I've learned over the last year and a half, what makes Roanoke so amazing uh, are you, uh, are the people here in this community. And um, just the uh, number of organizations that are represented here and the countless organizations that uh, are not here with us today, but that are in the Roanoke Valley that give back here, uh, that really are committed to this community. That's really what makes Roanoke so amazing. And it's something that if you haven't been here and if you haven't lived here and if you haven't witnessed it yourself, it's difficult to really describe to folks. But the community rallies and comes together in an amazing way. And so uh, the things that you all are doing in your organizations and your nonprofits uh, really does speak to me personally. I think it's reflected in how great our community is and you really do make a big difference. And so uh, part of what we wanted to do with our 40th anniversary was thank you for that because we know that you're doing work on a daily basis that's making a difference really in all of our lives. And so uh, that's what this was all about. Uh, we did with our, our 40th anniversary, we did 40 days of giving. We kicked it off on the Greenways 40, 40 days ago. And through the course of those 40 days, we've done a number of different things. Many of you, we've come by and we've uh, uh, given gifts and we've taken pictures with, with a big, big check <laughs> like this uh, to uh, recognize uh, the contributions that we've made uh, at Cox uh, and, and to thank you for what you've done. Uh, we've done... Um, uh, a number of things that we call like random acts of kindness where we had uh, gift certificates that uh, we gave to our employees and we said go out in the community and just walk up to a stranger and thank them for being a big part of this community and give them this gift card on behalf of Cox and so we gave away a number of $40 gift cards with that. Uh, we had our employees do a number of different volunteer activities and so uh, different groups that might want to do a team builder for us rather than going off and playing games we said hey why don't you give back to the community and so they did they got out and they went to locations and they helped clean up areas or they helped paint facilities or they read to kids or they played with uh, kids they did these sorts of things and so we had an opportunity to actually get out in the community and uh, and give back as well and that was really important to us 
Um, a few of the highlights that I would uh, mention, uh, things that I thought uh, were really cool, and I could probably talk for hours about all of the great organizations, but we had an opportunity uh, to do a, a canned food drive with our employees, and we, uh, we ran a contest, and we said uh, we want to see who can build the best bridge, and so our groups divided into teams. Uh, folks brought in canned food uh, uh, items, non-perishables, and we actually had a contest where our employees built bridges out of these and we had a, a, a declared a winner and, and celebrated lunch with those folks but then we took all of those canned goods over to um a feeding america um and uh and it's good to see you and if you haven't been over there you need to experience james so if you have you know what i'm talking about uh, I have never met anybody with so much energy, uh, comes in and gives you your training on here's what you're going to do, and when he puts you to work, you don't even realize you're working. And so we had an opportunity to uh, volunteer our time over there, helping to sort through uh, 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 food and uh, canned food. Uh, it, was, it was really, really impressive. We had an opportunity also to um, do a book drive with our, our employees, and so across the state, actually, uh, we, uh, we, we did a book drive, and so uh, for kids and, and, and collected new and, I guess, gently used books, uh, and uh, we were able to uh, uh, turn those uh, over to different organizations in the area, across, really across the state. Uh, we donated ours to the uh, Lansdowne Park, uh, uh, to their reading corner that they have over there, and uh, our employees are signed up uh, for several times over the next a couple of months to get in there and to uh, to read to the kids and so an opportunity for us to see that through um, what was probably the most touching experience for me is uh, and it sort of came about uh, in an interesting way there's this uh, group of kids um, in Roanoke City schools in the high schools they formed this council they call the Star Council uh, and it's student led it's student it's a student organization that they formed uh, to help uh, raise money to help combat homelessness, homelessness among children in, the, in Roanoke City. And uh, if that doesn't really pull at your heartstrings, I don't know what does that these kids recognize that their classmates, and there are hundreds of them in Roanoke City uh, who are homeless, uh, that they wanted to help raise some money for them. Uh, and last year they started this organization and uh, they raised uh, about $8,000 just through fundraisers and t-shirt sales and these sorts of things. Uh, and we were proud to go over to their very first meeting of the year uh, and help give uh, and give a donation to help get them started for this year. And so um, those are the, uh, the students that are doing that. And I can guarantee you that they're learning habits today that will pay for it for our community for, for years and years to come because they're giving back. And it was, uh, uh, it was definitely a sort of, uh, uh, give you goosebumps type of a moment to see those kids doing that. So that was really a, a, a beautiful experience. We had an opportunity to go over to uh, Carillion Hospital, uh, to the Children's Hospital. Uh, we did uh, arts and crafts with the kids one day. And so um, uh, I, I don't know if that was more fun for the kids or for their, their parents because their uh, moms and dads were in there with us as well and we were doing stuff. And so uh, that was really fun. And then. Just last week, uh, we had an opportunity to celebrate uh, with uh, Boys and Girls Club at their annual uh, gala and um, with the kids there. They, uh, uh, in addition to having their annual uh, dinner, the kids actually put on a, a sample for all of the adults visiting around what the day in the life of the club looks like. And they were showing us all of the different things that they learn uh, and games that they play. And so it was a great opportunity for us to get out in the community and to see many of you all. And uh, those were some of the highlights for me, but I just wanted to share that with you. Um, and I know that, uh, again, I could probably go on for hours about all the great things that, that are happening out there. But thank you. Thank you for that. Um, all right, let's talk about this uh, scavenger hunt for a minute. Um, hopefully you had fun with it. Did you have fun? Everybody have fun? I couldn't tell from some of the pictures if it was work or if it was fun. Um, uh, but we, uh, we wanted it to be a good time. We wanted you to have uh, a good experience with it. Uh, we do our, um, uh, a variety of different things, grants and these other things. And I know for many of you all, that involves sitting in an office and writing for hours on end. Uh, it requires you having to get out and to, to ask for uh, money and to do those sorts of things to help 
uh, move your organizations forward. Uh, and we thought, hey, maybe there's an opportunity to give you a little something fun to do along the way and, uh, and an organization will have an opportunity to win. Um, Hopefully you learned a little bit too. I, you know, I uh, had an opportunity to see those clues. I think I saw all 10 on the very first day. Uh, they shared them with me and um, they were hard. Some of them were really, really hard. Uh, it, was, uh, it was one of those things where, you know, not only did you have to figure out where to go, but then you had to figure out a clue once you got there and decipher these things. And so um, uh, hopefully it not only was fun, but it, it, it was educational for you, too. You had an opportunity to get out to different parts of our, our fine community here uh, and, and maybe learn a little bit about the history or, or learn something that you didn't know about the area. We did 10 clues over 10 days, uh, and so, uh, so we finished the last one last Friday. Uh, and, uh, and I know that uh, with many of you all, at least I could tell from the pictures, that you all did the old divide and conquer method. It looked like you had multiple folks in your organization doing different elements of that. And so um, uh, in just a few minutes, we're going to announce the, uh, the winner, the winning organization, uh, the one with the most points that will win $4,040.40. That was obviously uh, symptomatic of the fact that we're at our 40th anniversary. And so a number of different groups participated. I'll list them uh, here for you just so you know who the competition was. We had Apple Ridge Farm. Big Brothers, Big Sisters of Southwest Virginia, uh, the Boys and Girls Club of Southwest Virginia, Carillion Clinic Foundation, Cave Spring First Aid and Rescue Squad, Community Youth Program at St. John's Inc., Council of Community Services, Family Service of Roanoke Valley, Feeding America Southwest Virginia, Joint Resident Council, LOA Area Agency on, Agency, on Aging, Local Colors of Western Virginia, Renovation Alliance, Southeast Rural Community Assistance Project, Inc., the Taubman Museum of Art, and Youth Advocate Programs, Inc. So a number of very fine organizations. So a round of applause for everybody and your participation. So uh, we thought before we would announce the winner that we would do a few superlatives. And um, uh, we had a lot of fun. And if you haven't had a chance when you came in to see these four or five poster posters that we have around, take a look at that. Um, uh, because you'll see some wonderful pictures in there. You'll probably see yourself if you participated, uh, because uh, we've got a lot of those great selfies. Uh, and so we thought we would uh, recognize, in the spirit of fun, a few of these here. And so. Uh, the best group photo uh, it goes to Community Youth Program. Aww. And so, uh, will somebody from that organization come up? All right. And uh, so we have for you a oh, picture <laughs> and a $40 uh, uh, gift card uh, with our 40th anniversary. Now, one of the things I loved about this is um, I'm sure to get the lighting right, we must have been looking into this. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, use the forty dollars any way you want to, but sunglasses might. Be right. um, yeah, yeah, but no, congratulations. Good, good stuff. Oh, do a picture. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you. Good. Yeah, absolutely. All right, now this one should be obvious if you saw any of the tweets. The cutest helper. That goes to Feeding America. Feeding America. So come on up. This is baby's first hot dog. The baby's first hot dog? Baby's first hot dog. Right. Right. Be a part of that. Thank so, you so much. Absolutely. All right, very Thank good. You. All right, now. Some of you all may have just worked your way through this particular one, um, uh, but there was one of these clues where uh, you had to go to a location and you had to decipher what was written. Um, but there was an error, I think, when we put this thing together. There was one letter uh, that was, um, was off. Now, most of you just kind of worked your way through it and figured out what it was supposed to be. Uh, uh, but I would like to uh, recognize for the best hashtag, can I get a vowel? And that goes to uh, the Taubman oh, Museum of Art. So uh, come on up. <laughs> well, you know, we'll just 
<laughs> oh, sorry. And, and I must say, the, the member that came up with that out of desperation, she's not even here to take this for a well, 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 <laughs> So Meg Carter's like, just ask if we can buy a bag. <laughs> <laughs> very good. So uh, very, very nice. All right. And so uh, the next uh, we'll go to the uh, most artistic. Uh, LOA won that one. And look at the sunshine uh, coming through here. It's like, it's a thing of beauty. Here you go. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Absolutely. Good. All Thank right. You. Thank you. All right, this one was good. Uh, so one of our um, clues sent you out to Carvin's Cove, right? And so that was one of those where you had to get a picture, and uh, it wasn't a very easy one. As a matter of fact, I had a few people say, I'm, you know, I'm perplexed by this one. So funniest tweet goes to Council of Community Service for, damn, that was hard. <laughs> All right, and the last of the uh, superlatives is for best interpretation, and that goes to Renovation Alliance. And if you look at this, um, this is, uh, I don't know if all that stuff was already in the trunk or not, uh, but uh, 27 total props. There are 18 beers. Um, there may not be 18 left, uh, but two boxes, two hats, two cups, two shirts, and one bag. So do we have anybody here from Renovation Alliance? Yeah. Thank you. You're very welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I don't know. All right, good stuff. So do you want to know the answers? You want me to run through those real quick? I had a few folks <laughs> ask me this morning. I can, I can, um, I, I'll, 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 I'll blast through those kind of quickly here, just so you know. Um, uh, the first clue, uh, we wanted you to take a picture of the H&C coffee sign, uh, which most of you got in the Dr. Pepper sign, in the foreground, and the Mill Mountain Star in the background. Then you needed to take that picture and literally go up to the star. That's where you would take your selfie and post it. So variations on that. Uh, we saw those out there, but that was the correct answer for that one. Uh, the second clue took you to the Vincent War Memorial, uh, and you had a code that you had to crack, and that was, we love our city. Uh, the third was uh, to explore park uh, and the visitor center, the Blue Ridge Park Visitor Center there. Uh, that, that was that BRPVC. I don't know if you, you all probably figured that out a lot quicker than I did. Uh, you had to find the map, uh, pull the code and get a phone number, and when you called that number, you received a message that said, well done, adventurers. And so you would have included that in your tweet. Uh, the Carvin's Cove, which I mentioned just a minute ago, um, uh, you were supposed to uh, go there, apply the date. The dam spilled over for the first time, uh, and I don't know how many of you all had to Google that. I'm sure everybody <laughs> did, uh, and tweet the word dazzled. Clue, clue five was the uh, Roanoke Wiener stand right down uh, from where we are here. Uh, use the word Cox as your key to decode the answer. Roanoke Americana, hot dogs, fries, and a Coke. Um, and those would have been included in your tweet. Uh, the sixth one took you to Black Dog Ar Architectural. Uh, use the letters K and D, which um, was where there was a dog's uh, paw in the logo. Uh, and it used it as a key to solve the uh, mystery there, which was uh, the Magic City. Uh, Clue 7 uh, was the site for the uh, new Deschutes Brewery. Uh, include as many props as you could, which uh, many of you all use that as a great opportunity uh, to get the, uh, the appropriate props. Um, uh, so that was, that was Clue 7. Clue 8 uh, to Kimball Foundation, um, you pulled a line. And a uh, letter and word from the plaque would get the saying, we are Roanoke. Uh, nine was the Martin Luther King Bridge. Uh, locate the two sayings at either end of the bridge. Uh, dismantle the letters. 
And uh, this is the one I believe where we had the uh, the vowel issue, <laughs> and uh, the uh, we were what we were looking for is we live here, uh, and then uh, I clearly I thought was the toughest one was the last one uh, that we saved for last. It would take you to Elmwood Park. Uh, you need to locate the leaf statue, use the words in the window of the library to unravel the code, which was Air Roanoke. And so those were uh, the answers to your clues. We'll make sure we put these someplace so if you want to go back and compare them to what you actually did. So are you ready for me to announce the winner, what we're all here for? Well, we started this thing off 40 days ago with a poem that I struggled through, and I figured I would struggle through another one here today for you. Um, so to announce our winner, our scavenger hunt is now at its finale. We hope you had fun and learned about the valley. You searched far and wide from Vinton to Elmwood. Your tweets entertained us, and they were really quite good. You cracked all the puzzles. You solved all the codes. You walked all the trails. You drove all the roads. Thanks for sticking with us through a fun investigation. And now for the winner, Carillion Clinic Foundation. Yeah. So who do we have here from so congratulations, and on behalf of Cox, we have a check for you. This one you can't cash, but we'll get you one that you can for $4,040.40. Congratulations. Oh, Thank really you so you. much. Thank you, and Thank congratulations. You. Oh, you guys did a great job. This, this will be so wonderful for, um, you know, uh, part of the foundation is Curling Clinic Hospice, and uh, this money will support our patient fund, which does, um, you know, covers costs for things that insurance doesn't cover. So it's last wish requests for our patients. It's memory-making opportunities. Um, it'll do a lot, of, a lot of good. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Good job. You know, I wish we could do that for everyone. I mean, you really all are doing some amazing, amazing stuff out there. Um, I, um, as we wrap up today, I, I certainly want to thank you. Uh, I want to thank you for what you're doing. I want to thank the Roanoke Valley for being um, so great to Cox. I also want to uh, say a few words uh, about our employees. Um, we're really proud to serve this area. And when we kicked off our 40th anniversary, not only did we do that externally and with all of these community events, we did this internally as well because really what makes this area great and what makes our company great are the people. And uh, I had the opportunity uh, to go to lunch with uh, our employees who have 30 plus years of service uh, with Cox. And uh, I was at lunch with 11 people uh, about a month ago. And to hear, and some of these folks have 35, 36, 37 years with the company. Uh, and for um, a, a, a group our size here in Roanoke, uh, that's a huge percentage of, of our employees to have that much tenure. And to hear their stories about um, working for our company and living in this community, many of those folks have had opportunities to go other places and do other jobs, uh, but they specifically wanted to stay here because of Roanoke and what a great place Roanoke is, and, and I suppose because Cox is a great place to work. Uh, but um, uh, on behalf of that group who, who likes to give back to the community, uh, I just wanted to share that with you because uh, they, they mean the world to me, uh, and, uh, and I'm really proud of that group. Um, now, the giving doesn't stop here. Yesterday, we officially opened our Cox Charity Grant Cycle. Uh, and so um, many of you have applied for grants in the past. I encourage you to go on if you haven't already uh, and to uh, submit for this coming year. Uh, that cycle will end on December 2nd, so you have a, a couple few weeks to get that completed. Uh, and then um, also um, uh, check out our float. We're going to actually, uh, Cox, our, our team is putting together a float this will sort of be the conclusion of this year, and uh, so we're going to have a float in the Christmas parade here, and our employee is completely employee-driven, uh, uh, and so 
um, they're not even really including me in this one, so I'm going to be as surprised as you are when uh, when that goes down the road. But uh, uh, they wanted to do something fun to celebrate our 40th anniversary, and so uh, in the uh, uh, I guess that's December 9th, right? Uh, so uh, that evening there'll be a uh, a cox float in the parade, and so we're looking forward to that as well. Uh, stop by and, and see us if you if uh, if you're out there, or uh, give me a call sometime, or uh, any of our great organization uh, members. Uh, before we wrap up today, I certainly want to thank a few uh, folks that uh, work with me. Uh, Jessica Dolly is here. She's at the front of the room, and she's in our public affairs uh, group, and she uh, played a critical role in helping to develop. Uh, that scavenger hunt and so she helped us coordinate that it was off of something that she had done in northern Virginia in the past uh, and so she's been a great help to us and I'm sure everybody knows Margaret Hunter uh, Margaret Hunter Wade in the back here and, and Margaret Hunter has uh, been uh, a great uh, partner of mine here to help us get through uh, this 40th anniversary because as much fun as we've had, we had to put a lot of work into it, and it took us a long time to get there. And so she spent countless hours, and uh, she did that while she was doing a lot of things on her own. And this is past week at the uh, she was uh, I think the chair chair is that what you were of stock market, so co-chair of stock market. So uh, you may have, in fact, you may see a picture or two of her wearing a uh, uh, you know a holiday wreath on her head uh, uh, from that. So. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, so thank you all so much. Really appreciate everything that you're doing in our community. Please reach out to us at Cox's if there's anything that we can do for you. And have just a wonderful day. Really appreciate it. Have a good day. <laughs>